Welcome to the Duck Pyramid, where I rate my pet ducks from worst to best based on their behavior the last week. This episode, guest starring Sugar the Duck. Unfortunately, Sugar is not happy to be here. At the bottom of our pyramid this week is Chip. Not Sugar! Go, girl! So Chip is at the bottom of the pyramid this week because he decided that he was going to take one of his, like, food blocks and put it on his hamster wheel and then run around on it. And so then I woke up because he sleeps in my room. Because it was obviously annoying just hearing clunk, 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 clunk every time we went around the wheel. So I woke up, I took it off, I put it back in his food bowl. You know what he did? He took it back out and put it back on his wheel again and started running again. And I just, I was too tired to deal with it. So, bottom of the pyramid. Aren't you so happy it wasn't you? And next up, we have Munchkin. Munchkin decided to fake an injury to get my attention. So the other day it was snowing and I don't like to drive in the snow so I didn't feel like driving back to the duck. So duck dad checked on them for me but oh no, Munchkin's not doing good. She appears to have no use of her legs. So I rush home in the snow only to find that Munchkin was fine as soon as I got there. Do you have anything to say about that, Munchkin? I told you it's not rigged. Munchkin can be on the bottom too. And next up, we have avocado toast and hash brown Montana. Technically, these two are equals because they both partook in the same activity this week. Bye, sugar. She's stuck. Unstuck. Bye. As I was saying, Avocado Toast and Hash Brown Montana decided this week that they didn't want to stay in the pen. They wanted to play in the snow, which good for them. It's their first like snow season, so I'm happy that they're enjoying it. But even though it's winter, there are still way too many predators for them to be outside of the pen unsupervised. So unfortunately, their little escape plan to walk out while I was refilling the food bowl didn't quite work out for them, but I just put them down here because we need to worry about our lives a little bit more. Next week, you know. Leveling up on our pyramid, we have Mr. Whip. Now, Mr. Whip landed himself here on the middle row because I wasn't sure where to put him. And my reasoning for that is because part of the reason that Sugar's here today is because she got stuck flipped on her back twice. Now, the first time was completely out of camera view, so I don't know what caused it. But the second time it was a little suspicious. They were in the corner and it did appear that Mr. Whip pecked sugar and then all I could see was just her foot flailing upside down in the corner of the camera. So did Mr. Whip push her over? Maybe. Innocent until proven guilty, but I don't know. And I can't I can't give him a high up spot because what if he did that? And I can't put him on the bottom because, like, I don't know for sure. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The jury is still out. Let me know what you guys think happened. Do you, do you want to tell everyone what happened? Did he do that to you? And next up, we have Donut. Now, Donut didn't do anything particularly bad this week. I mean, she was still Donut, of course, but like compared to these guys, she didn't do anything specifically bad, which is an improvement for her. And next up, we have Maple. You can tell my expectations are low this week because the only reason Maple is here is because he also has improved slightly since last week, although he's still kind of not doing great. And that's because normal mating season for ducks is pretty much all year round except the winter. But Maple was just like, you know what? I don't care. I'm still going to get what I want, even in the winter, which is like not cool. The ladies need a break, okay? Um, but he's kind of laid off the past week, so that's good. It's improvement. We're not there yet, but I think he'll get there eventually. And leveling up, we have Sugar. That's you. Sugar did good things this week, and Sugar also did bad things this week. And I mean, she might have been ranked lower, but she is like right here. Um, and I am choosing life. So Sugar is up here this week, 
And the reasoning for that is because, well, I feel bad for her because um, she's staying in the house with me for the last two days. And I know she absolutely hates it and she's making it as hard as possible for me, but I feel bad for her because that's not necessarily her fault. So we've been over this before, but let's talk about it again. Sugar is the way she is because, can you let me talk? Thank you. Sugar is the way she is because she is unethically bred. I know, just cover your ears. Sugar was bred for show. Sugar was not bred to be a healthy duck. And that caused her a lot of issues. I'm sorry, I have to explain this to people so they don't buy ducks like you. It's for the betterment of the duck world. So sugar is a call duck and call ducks when they're bred for show are bred to be really, really, really small. And small is fine when it comes to ducks that are like munchkin or maple or even Mr. Whip who might be considered like breeder quality. That's fine because they aren't too small. Smaller than your average duck, but not too small. When you get like sugar and you end up with ducks that are too small, they have a hard time breathing because their nose holes are literally like the size of a pinhead. They also have a lot of other issues like sugar struggles to clean herself because her neck is too short to reach. That especially gets bad in the winter, which is one reason that I was happy with her this week was because she actually was swimming a lot more than she typically would so I was like yay sugar keep yourself clean even though it's winter um so I was like that, that was good but unfortunately sugar did end up stuck on her back overnight um I don't know how long she was like that because uh she was out of the view of the camera of course but it's that is just a direct result of the fact that she is unethically bred um obviously not her fault and it doesn't really happen often that she gets stuck on her back but when it does happen it usually happens once and then it'll happen again which is probably because she's kind of like lost her equilibrium when it does happen um so when it did happen twice and we were at the start of a snowstorm and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get back over there <laughs> because of the roads I was like it's better to just bring her inside for the time being make sure that she's okay and does not get stuck in her back in the middle of a snowstorm um so i brought her inside she's been hating it um she does like the bathtub but i can't just like throw her back outside when the storm is over because i'm gonna have to like slowly integrate her back to the outdoor temperatures because now she's used to warm um but she's not having a good time here she hates it she doesn't want to be inside but she's also miserable outside when the other ducks are pecking at her while she's upside down so i just feel bad for her and that's why she's up there i'm sorry sugar and next up we have bubbles so bubbles didn't do anything like particularly amazing this week it's just that she did better than uh, everyone else below her so bubbles was good she went to the pen when asked she went to bed when asked she swam in the stream and had some fun this week. You know, nothing crazy, but Bubbles is usually a nothing crazy kind of duck. You know, she's just kind of, kind of there. Why would you do that? <laughs> At the top of our pyramid this week, we have Raven. And you're probably expecting that if a duck is at the top of the pyramid, they did something super awesome that got them that spot. But Raven didn't. Again, I mean, everybody from like here down did something wrong. So the chances of everyone else getting high was just pretty high. So that's how Raven got here. She's pretty much just there because she's pretty this week. You know, she didn't she didn't do anything wrong. She just like Bubbles went to bed on time, got up on time, ate duck food. They, they, she did eat scratch grains too, which I was proud of her for because normally the ducks take like two weeks before they're not afraid of the scratch grains anymore. Um, But you know, go Raven. I think this is her first time up there, so. We're proud of her, aren't we, Sugar? Since I've got lovely Sugar here, I figured I would let her talk to you about her merch. Sugar, how do you feel? This is Sugar's merch. It comes in tie-dye now, and we also have 2023 duck calendars if you are in need of one for the new year.